What's up guys, Austin Nerd Show here and today we're unboxing the new Legion of Collector Box done by Funko and stuff and here we have Batman the Animated Series as a theme so we have Penguin there on the front. So let's open this and see what awesome characters we get because um, I love the Animated Series characters and pops they're doing for this. So let's hope we get someone cool or something with that. But first up as always we have our patch and our pin and our pin is a Catwoman. So she's there in her gray outfit as you would see in the animated series um, show and stuff like that. And it says Catwoman oh, and then Legion of Collectors. And then we have our patch. Can't get that off. But it is um, the Joker. And again, it says Legion of Collectors. That's what I was looking at. And so we have Joker's head with um, the uh, cards there in the background and stuff like that. And so that is a cool looking uh, patch and stuff. So let's get into it. So we have our card that we'll look for next month. And stuff. So first off, we have a Batman the or the Batman Adventures um, comic with, of course, a pop figure. And so it looks like the animated series like thing with Batman standing on the rooftop with the red background and um, stuff like that. And usually it's a um, silhouette and stuff like that. But there we actually have Batman design and everything. We got the blimps and everything there in the background of Gotham. And so that just looks awesome. And it's a number one of whatever the Batman Adventures are. Haven't heard of that one yet. So that was an awesome cover. Uh, next up, we have a t-shirt, it looks like. And it looks, of course, like the Batman the Animated Series. Um, like logo or whatever kind of thing you call it. The cover art, I don't know. So there we have a pop Batman doing his thing, covering up half his face with his um, cape and stuff like that, and then silhouette against, again, the red background. There and stuff like that. So it's really cool. It looks almost like it's like collared like crayon or something like that um with the way it's designed and the look and stuff like that like someone took you know like a white crayon and like colored the eyes and gray and red and all that sort of stuff but it looks really cool and i like that um design and everything so we have our items in the box and these look really cool um so we'll start off with i think is the lesser cool which it's still really cool though it is a batman with the batmobile Again, from the animated series, so it's a Dorbs ride, as you can see. And so we um, obviously have a bunch of Batmans, as you can probably see up there in the corner. Um, so this, I don't know if this Batman's going to be different. I mean, I would assume it would be, because it's the animated series Batman. Um, but let's get this out of here. Um, but he looks relatively the same, stuff like that. So I was going to say, it was probably the Batmobiles. So it, it is... Um, a little different so he has like bluish design on his gloves and stuff as you can see and uh um kind of on his legs and stuff kind of adding design as the um, batman or the animated series batman would like when he's around he has like blue effects on him supposed to be like lighting and stuff like that um so that he is different in that version or form and stuff like that and then we have the animated series batmobile here which looks cool it's usually really like long and flat like it is and stuff like that but obviously with it being a dorbs right they had to shrink it up so it's not as long stuff but once again inside the like cockpit or whatever and stuff they did put little pegs in there i don't know if you can see it but um little pegs actually stick it in and hold it because a lot of the funko stuff again you stick it in and they just fall right out which this it's still weak but it actually like holds it still a little bit so we have all this design there on the car and stuff like that that I like and I did notice with the Batman that he also does have a little battering there in his hand and stuff too, which is awesome. Adding more detail into it. So that is an awesome pop right. Again, another thing that if people are Batman fans, they're going to definitely want to have this. And so it's another reason why you should be getting this box and stuff like that. And then the thing that I think is the most awesome, because it's one of my favorite uh, villains, because as I've mentioned before, um, with Batman, I don't care so much about Batman himself as I do the um, villains and stuff. And so we have, like, like I said, one of my favorite characters. It is a Mr. Freeze. And it's, the, of course, uh, obviously the animated series one, which is one of my favorite designs of Mr. Freeze and stuff. Um, so it just looks super cool. And we'll go ahead and take him out of the box. And then, um, oh, there's some... Oh, an ad and so there's also um, obviously if you didn't know anything about the animated series there's some more characters there and they have a whole bunch more coming out and I'm interested in getting a couple of them um, but here we have Mr. Freeze and so once again 
It, that looks so cool. So they took his pop head, obviously, and stuck it inside of this plastic dome, which looks really cool, and I like how they're doing that, how it does look like his helmet. Well, kind of like his helmet. But, I mean, they actually like put something on it and was able to come up with a design to do this and everything. But then he's in his, a blue and, like, purplish outfit and stuff like that. He has his freeze gun and then um, his, like, I assume, like, uh, tank there on the back that powers, um, keeps him cold and stuff like that. I assume it's... Um, like nitrogen or something like that something along those lines and it just looks super cool I love this design and I love this Mr. Freeze and I'm so glad that because I'm wondering um, with all the characters they're showing off and stuff like that I was wondering why they hadn't done Mr. Freeze and that explains why they saved it for this box and that is why so that is a, again another awesome character and a, or another good reason why you should get this box and stuff if you like pops and characters stuff like that because they're actually giving you reason to buy this instead of just a character that's already out there and made and just in another version stuff like that so now last thing we will do we will look through our um, little paper here and stuff and we have our ad for next month which is DC's most wanted so we have a whole bunch of villains there so hopefully if we get some of these characters on there that'd be awesome I'm hoping for an atrocitus yeah that's what um, I was thinking because I know they haven't made one yet and or a Bane would be cool. Yeah, they're doing an animated series Bane, so I know they have that, and of course, plenty of Jokers. There is a Scarecrow coming out that I want. Haven't seen a Lex Luthor and Captain Cold. They've only done the TV show version, um, so either of those would be awesome as well. And then we have all our items from month. So of course, we have a sculpture design of the Batman or the Batmobile and stuff. Then of course our T-shirt, um, which. Oh, it doesn't really say much. I thought I was going to say something cool about it. Then, of course, the Joker and Catwoman, Pin and Patch, our Mr. Freeze pop, and, of course, show sculpture and designs and coloring and stuff like that for the um, Mr. Freeze. And then, of course, the Batman Adventures comic book. Um, and it just says, Animated Series title card is only available to Legion of Collectors. So, as I said, it would be, obviously... And so that is going to be it for the box this month. So if you enjoyed this Legion of Collectors box, please leave a thumbs up. Leave any comments you have down below. Let me know what your favorite Batman character is or from the animated series or anything like that. Hit the subscribe button to see more, and we'll see you next time.